Good morning. Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hey Aquarius placements, it's wonderful to have you here. Um, my name is Tasha and if this is your first time being here, uh, great. And if you're returning, great. And uh, so let's jump right in. We do spiritual love and money. I hit all the bases. And so we're going to jump right in with your spiritual first. Let's see what we got for you. All right, Spirit, what do you got for Aquarius spiritual message? What is it they most need to know at this time? What do my Aquarius placement, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know at this time? I feel like I'm getting a little sleepy. <laughs> And then I'm going to upload and study. And I got just a little bit of time to do that. So let's see. All right, y'all. This is what I got for you, Aquarius. This is your spiritual message. Okay. Y'all have Journey Labyrinth. You know what? Y'all, give me two seconds. Let me. Because I got my own personal date that I that I use that to study with. I made these. But I get so tired. You know, I'm into numerology, but sometimes I forget with um certain numbers mean. And I keep, keep coming across this number and I I really want to know what the number means. Hold on a second, y'all. Y'all got Labyrinth Journey. Um, how is this all broke up like this? Okay, hold on. I want to know what six means. The number six, sorry. Okay. Concentrations, desire to bring harmony, truth, justice, a sense of balance into its environment, love, compassion. Mm. Okay, so six has to do with social and family responsibilities, love and compassion, being a teacher, a counselor. Your domestic, artistic, adjust the needs of others, desires, close and playing, marriage, harmony. So it has a lot to do with family and home, being harmonious, just service, love, compassion, counseling, heal, healing, that kind of stuff. Okay. I was just wondering. I wanted to know what it meant. That's all. <laughs> so, anyway. Sorry about that, Aquarius. But yeah, y'all have Labyrinth Journey, which is a number 15, which broke down to a six. That's why I had to stop for a second. Y'all have Skull Endings, Something Ended, Sunflower Action. Uh, Skull's Endings was 29, which breaks down to 11, which breaks down to a two. So somebody found some balance after an ending. 34, which breaks down to seven. Action, which good luck is seven. Angel Numbers, Confirmation. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of that, we got love. At the top of that, we got resilience. Okay, so some of y'all getting ready to go on some sort of journey here. A new pathway. You're trying to find your way uh, to your path. That's that's a labyrinth. You know, them little. it's like a maze. So some of y'all are trying to journey, and you're going to try to find your way, and you don't really have a clear direction on how you're going to do it. And this is going to happen after an ending. But whatever this thing that ended, it left you feeling balanced. You got 29, which is, like I said, breaks down. 2 plus 9 equals 11. And then this card has an 11. So 11 and 11 could be significant because you guys have a new beginning. When there's an ending, there's something new that begins. Okay? So on top of that, then the next thing you're going to do is when you have this new ending, this new journey, this new path where you're going to go on, you're going to have to put some action behind it. Sunflowers. Some of y'all are going to get some, a lot of enlightenment and sun, sunflowers also face the sun. So I know you're going to, something is going to be enlightened that you're going to have to take action on 
and it's going to illuminate some new pathways for you but you're going to put in a lot of action behind it you're also probably seeing a lot of angel numbers 14 is on this card breaks down to a five so you're experiencing a lot of changes uh 12 12 could be significant some of y'all might be having breakfast right now 11 11 this is the third time 11 11 and popped up in this just in the spiritual spread so something new is definitely on the horizon get ready get ready okay um angel numbers are just confirmation for some of y'all's um uh what's going on with you you know what i'm saying pay attention to your angel numbers this is how the universe speaks to us sometimes look for sign synchronicities and um i just said angel numbers or omens uh, spirit can sometimes talk to people directly, but sometimes they leave you little nuggets to follow. And if you pay attention, if you see a lot of fives, you might be getting ready to experience change. If you see a lot of ones, you might be getting ready to undergo a, some sort of new beginning, which it says y'all will get ready to journey down a new path due to an ending that's now bringing you back into harmony and balance. Okay. So 11, 11 is definitely significant. 12, 12 might be significant. New York, New York might be a uh, significant zip code 10027 could also be significant or somebody could be having breakfast look for um some serendipitous moments coming your way love is here number eight some of y'all are getting ready to experience a lot of love coming your way due to your resilience this might not be romantic love. This might be on the path or the journey because this is looking like normally spiritual messages are personal. This ain't got to do, they can talk about love, but for y'all, this is looking like this is personal. Y'all are getting ready to experience love due to the resilience that you had to endure. Yes, yes. There's going to be a lot of love being lifted up and shown to you due to your, your resilience. Succulence, resilience is here. 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, another 11. So whatever this new beginning, this passion project, this new journey you're going down, it's going to require you to have a lot of resilience. You're going to experience a lot of trials and tribulations. Uh, it's going to be some harsh conditions. There's going to be some setbacks. But Aquarius, stay on the path because somehow you being on this path, Spirit's going to be giving you little seeds that you're on the right path. You're going to keep seeing these angel numbers. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't get up. And for whatever reason, when you go through all this and you and you have all this resilience and you make it through and you this new beginning is somehow going to lead to you being shown a great deal of love by others and the universe. And you're going to gain a lot of self-love for not giving up on yourself so congratulations Aquarius I don't know what passion project you have looks like there's gonna be some trials and tribulations but stick with it your resilience is going to somehow lead you to love all right that being said let's jump right into the love portion of the reading okay spirit what do you got for my Aquarius placements and love what does Aquarius need to know at this time y'all gotta forgive me I'm so sleepy don't get sleepy but i didn't just did three readings back to back and some of them was almost 40 minutes to an hour long so my throat but i got plenty of water over here and i'm about to start drinking it aquarius and love spirit five cards thank you all right somebody is getting ready to come back towards you they don't want something to be over they want to work together after leaving you out in the cold yeah their plan is to um yeah somebody got some bad news something that they wanted they had a plan they got left out in the cold but now somebody's thinking about coming back around five more cards please Yep, somebody from your past wants to come in and show you some love. They're going to come in with a small offer. Six of Cups is here. Page of Cups is here. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't tell y'all the cards. So the first row, we got four swords in reverse, three of Pentacles in the upright, five of Pentacles in the upright, two of Wands in the upright, 
and the page of pentacles in reverse okay uh the next cards out you got six of cups page of cups upright nine of pentacles in reverse yeah after leaving you out in the cold somebody wants to come back and uh give you some sort of attention they see you as the queen of cups this is somebody who at first i guess did not want to have this uh beginning with you with the ace of pentacles in reverse but now they see you as somebody that you know you really take care of people you have a lot of love and they want to stay attached so they're going to come in with a small offer Somebody might be dealing with Aries Leo Sag. Uh, there's also uh, Scorpio Pisces Cancer is also out here. And then you got Pentacles, so we could be talking about a... Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah, somebody, um, after somebody, okay, there was some bad news at first. Somebody did not want to give to the situation. They felt like this was not their wish fulfillment. And then they knew that you were somebody who was taking care of everything and everybody. And it left you in a five of cups. Uh, it made you feel like you was in that five of cups energy. Like it created some sort of uh, despair, regret for you. Um, probably because it looked like he was not getting any help, but now somebody has a plan to come towards this queen of cups. They, they're coming up with a small idea to try. They see you standing in your confidence. You out here confident and bold. And after, um, leaving you without a lot of choices and out in the cold, somebody wants to come towards you. Now I'm going to be honest with this night of wands that don't look like they coming. You know, a knight, of, a knight of Wands can be sexy, but they can be a charmer. They can be a player. So somebody's seeing you look very sexy out here. And so now they want to try to come towards you with a, a small love offer. They really, it looks like they just really want to sleep with you, if you want me to be perfectly honest with you. They see you confident and out here. And now after leaving you, they're contemplating coming back towards you, but it's mostly because... They're very highly sexually attracted to you. But this looks like somebody who really hurt this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Somebody really hurt a Queen of Pentacles, but they see them out there looking good. And now that's attractive to them. And now they want to come back. Look, cannot make this up. Somebody wants to heal the conflict. Five of Wands is in reverse. Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Ten of Wands is in reverse. Somebody wants to lift the burden. They see you out here looking good, independent, doing your thing, sexy as hell, and now they want to come back in and fix. They thinking about how can they fix it and come out, come back and chase you. I cannot make it up. One more. Some of y'all might have some, like I said, Capricorn. You might want to go back and watch the Capricorn reading. Some of them was doing the same thing. Going back after somebody once they've seen them leveling up. Okay, yeah, somebody wants to come back in and they want to work on the partnership. After a period of things being out of control between between the two of you, now they want to talk. High Priestess is here in reverse. Emperor is in reverse. Somebody wants to talk after losing their cool, after y'all had some sort of ending where things were just not working out between y'all. Man, somebody really wants to do it to you. I ain't lying. They're going to come towards you rather quickly, too, after this ending. Somebody's getting ready to come back to you, act like they want to grow something all fast. But mostly, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're going to act like y'all a perfect pair, queen, king of wands, queen of wands. But really, I told you, I think somebody, this is somebody that y'all have a lot of fire between y'all, a lot of passion. All I see is a lot of sexual heat here. Yep, and this is at, this is coming after somebody was an ice queen to the other person, but they're going to come back. Eight of cups in reverse. You don't see it, can't see it, might not believe it. Somebody who left you out in the cold, who was closed off from you, they don't want, now they want to release it. Now they, now they feel like they didn't gain some sort of enlightenment. They want to bring balance to the situation. They see you out here and they know that they didn't show you no mercy. And now they're like, oh, hell no, nah, I need to go back over here and show them some love. I can't leave them out here like this. I got to show them some love. I know I wasn't fair to them. I, I, I was real unfair. 
with the judgment reversed. Now I want to come in with the justice and bring balance to the situation. All they do is sit back, contemplate, and they think they didn't got some sort of new enlightenment of who you are or what you do. And but like I said, be careful, Aquarius or Aquarius cross washer, because it really does look like whoever's talking, they're gonna be talking a good game. It really just look like they want, like I said, like they just really want to sleep with you. But they're gonna try to fix it. That's what I got for your love message. Let's get into the love oracle um, deck and see what you want to say to your person. Aquarius, Spirit, what does Aquarius want to say to their person? What is it that Aquarius really wants to say to their person? Ooh, child, this deck's so big. I'm going to break it up to shuffle. I just threw it on the floor and cat read. <laughs> The cars went flying. One more. Okay, Spirit. What do you got for Aquarius? Tell what does Aquarius want to say to their partner? Four cards, please. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, somebody feels like they do have free will. I want to be able to make my own decisions, not feel bounded by a connection, nor the opinions of others. I'm not ready to commit, and I'm unsure of what the future holds. Told you. Says, listen, so somebody wants to exercise their free will. They're attracted to you, but they want to do what they want to do. Now, it's up to you if you want to put up with that type of nonsense. Telepathic, but they do feel like y'all have some sort of telepathic connection. They feel you through everything. The things they touch, the images they see, the voices that, that they hear. They feel like y'all are connected throughout the universe, even if y'all are not together. Okay? Miles apart. Gluttonous gossip. Somebody has been gossiping about you. They're unable to... Con uh, un un unable to control or has an overwhelming need to make false or misleading information overindulging over consumption personal narratives that may or may not be true i am an idiot i spoke about our connection as though it was trivial i didn't respect the sanctity of our connection instead of keeping things between you and i i allowed others to interfere so in other words okay so somebody wanted to exercise their free will they want to go out and do what they wanted to do even though they felt very connected to you and everywhere they go they see seem to see uh, reminders of you now they feel like an idiot because they took they didn't take the connection seriously which makes sense on why they was doing that come back around this is Aquarius to your person now it says if you are feeling this is mirroring if you are feeling uh, under duress or feeling solemn I do too when you're thinking of me I'm thinking of you too our connection is deep profound and sometimes difficult to understand now after not paying you no mind now they're looking at you like you're a great source of reflection of growth. Now they want to be understanding and generally connect. They want to show you their deepest fears and insecurities. I already told you I look like somebody's just coming in to try to have sex with you, but take it as you will. Now they want to try to come in and give you balance. I'm trying to balance the scales out of my life and, and our connection. I took from you more than you were able to give. And I used you for my own benefit. Didn't I tell you somebody looked like they was out here giving? I think we said that in the tarot. Somebody gave more to the connection than the other person, created some sort of injustice, and now they want to come back around. That's sad. Somebody used somebody for their own benefit, and now I understand this was unhealthy and unfair to you, and I'm sorry. I told you somebody was going to want to come back in and make it right. Divine time. They just waiting on the right time to do it. They believe this union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, challenges, and more into their life when they can handle them. Belief that everything in life happens exactly at right the right moment. I, they want to take action towards you. I want to talk to you, be with you, and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine time. I told you. What? Spirit be reading these cards, baby. Four more cards. What does Aquarius person want to say to Aquarius? Oh, Lord. Mmm. Divine feminine. Somebody believes that this is their divine feminine. I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, compassionate towards myself and others. I want to be more soft and loving, especially towards you. However, somebody definitely always feels triggered that people places, people and places remind them of you. Both of y'all have that. That because this landed right up under their telepathic message. Even though somebody wants to be in their free will, they know that they need to be more compassionate. 
and soft and loving. But triggered is here. Telepathic. This fellow right up on the y'all's telepathic message in the last one. Everything reminds them of you. They feel panicked, overwhelmed. They cry. They act out. They withdraw. They they act. They react defensively. They have strong, uncomfortable emotional reactions that sometimes they would not ordinarily have or respond to. I get so emotional when your name comes up or when I see something that reminds me of you. You trigger something inside of me that causes me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand the emotions. I don't know the significance. Something is going to happen this summer. Coming up between August 6th and September 21st. Something is going to come up between the two of y'all. Mark the date again. August 6th through September 21st. Now, some of y'all, something is going to happen between June 21st and August 5th. Do I need to say it again? June 21st to August 5th or August 6th through September 21st. Sometime in the summer, one of y'all, y'all going to run either. They're going to try to come back around or they're going to come to you with this gossip. I don't damn know. Uh, settling. Somebody felt like they were settling. I just... No, I'm not happy. I feel I have no way out. I just can't walk away from my duties and the one I'm with, even if I'm not entirely happy. Somebody may have returned to a karmic. They're going to settle with this karmic because they feel like they can't, they got no choice. Even if they're not happy, they're going to, they're going to go back. They're unsatisfied. They feel alone when they're with someone they want, need, and desire being, or their wants and needs are chronically being unmet and they're, they're willing to accept less than what they deserve. Even if that's not what's right for them, they, they're going to settle because they can't walk away from either duties, kids or something. Divine timing. This person is just waiting on the right time to come towards you. Oh, excuse me. Y'all, my stomach just growled. I want to take action towards you. I want to talk to you. I want to be with you. I want to feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back in divine timing. So that's what your person said to you, Aquarius. Divine time. They just waiting on them. The right time for y'all to talk to. Okay, four four cards for the mutual energy spirit. Okay, spirit gave me five. Oh, again, now this is a different date. Something happened between March 20th. Something's gonna either happen this past spring. Something happened between March 20th and May 5th, or or something happened between May 6th and June 20th. Or it's going to happen next spring between March 20th and May 5th. Or between May 6th and June 20th next year. But I'm thinking this is what just happened recently. Okay? Now, y'all also have inner child healing. I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection. But now I realize the only way to heal is to mend and acknowledge and forgive my past. Somebody needs to heal some inner child wounds and they would actually help their relationships, their adult relationships, if they do it. Somebody has been experiencing a lot of tower changes that are difficult but necessary for growth moments in life that push us to be better and do better because we deserve better. I feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, things are keep crumbling around me. And I wish you were here to help. You were the only thing that made that was solid and made sense in my life. Somebody feels unawakened. They have a fear of losing their old life. Feels something is missing but is in denial, physically blocking or ignoring the connection. Somebody just continue to, to hide from the connection. They say they feel fearful of letting go with what I have and what I know. What you're asking of me is impossible. It makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. Listen, when somebody is not ready for a relationship, they will run, honey. They will run. Somebody, they're running. So they're going to go back to what they know. That's why they went back to the karmic. Okay. But they want you to know the answer to that burning question that you have. The answer is yes. Eventually, yes. Absolutely, yes. Eventually, I will come towards you. And I'm going to take action towards you. And I'm going to want to balance out the connection. Eventually, yes. But right now, I want to stay unawakened and I want to settle. That's what they want to do. So that is your lo the uh, love oracle message. Let's get into your money. And then we're going to close out this reading, Aquarius. 
Pisces. I will be doing Pisces when I get out from work today. And then tomorrow will be um, collectives. I'll be doing collective readings. So if you're interested in a collective reading, check out the title. And if you like it, come back and see me. So Saturday will be collective. Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday we will resume the Zodiac. And I'm going to try to put the Zodiacs on a schedule. Um, I've been trying to push three to four readings. I don't always get them uploaded in time before work. So sometimes I have to upload them when I get off. But they are recorded and ready to go. Okay. Oh, Lord, this is the wrong day. That's the money. I'm sorry, y'all. Money. Spirit, can you give me a money message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please? What, what do you have for Aquarius money? What is it that Aquarius needs to know in money today? Tell me about their money situation. I'm say spray it off. I done did so many readings. I'm about to sage <clears throat> when I get off. Clean the decks. Clean the decks. This is what I got for you, Aquarius, and money. That is way, 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 way too many. Let's just try this again. What do you got for Aquarius and money? The artist. Some of you guys are artists. You have creative endeavors that will help improve your cash flow. Seek out the things that inspire you and help to boost your creativity. If I'm not mistaken, y'all did say something about y'all getting ready to go on some sort of journey, some sort of level up, new beginning. So that makes sense. Some of y'all have some creative endeavors y'all need to get on. Surprise. Somebody's getting ready to surprise you. Expect the universe to pleasantly surprise you. Everything will be revealed to you in time. Let the plan unfold. Deliberately leaving things unplanned could cost you later. Make a plan, y'all. The rebels. Some of y'all are limiting your limiting beliefs are limiting your abundance. You are a trailblazer meant to pave the way for future generations. Some of y'all are going to be system busters, entrepreneurs, teachers, others a better way. You're going you're gonna to be a rebel. You're going to do something unconventional. Law. Some of y'all are in a major phase in your life that is ending. We, saw, we talked about that in the spiritual. Something is ending so something new can begin. Embrace the newness. Let go of what was so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you. Grief. Grieve the loss. The grief of loss continues to be an obstacle in your life. The longer you hold on to that grief, the longer you're going to stay at that spot. Y'all should check out... Um, now, Sagittarius reading was really, it was longer than all the other readings, but the spiritual message was very, very good. Very good. And y'all should kind of check out, like, one of the first cards out talked about uh, loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting rid of the things that no longer serve you. And sometimes they can hurt, but it will damage you if you continue to hold on to it. It's kind of like if you was a plant and you had dead leaves, you pick them off so that the rest of the plant can thrive. Why are you giving to situations or people that is not helping you? You have to let go. Grieve it, let it go, and move on so that you can be a better you. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have investments. Some of you guys are going to be making some investments. Whatever you invest in today will flourish in the future. Whatever you put your time and attention into, trust and believe it is already arrived. Hey, it's all it's already in the 5D. It just needs to come down here in the 3D. It's already here. That's how I look at my stuff. My stuff is already here. I didn't already blew up in my mind. Hey. Ensure that where you invest matches your investment goals, though. There are some investment mistakes being made. Still time to recover. If you made some mistakes, it's still time to recover. Just watch your spending. Watch your spending. At the top of the deck, you all have emotions. Some of you guys have been focused more on your love life instead of work or vice versa. Do not let work interfere with uh, love or the other way around. Your emotions can sometimes get the better of you if, and it can affect your career. Y'all need to have good work-life balance, good love balance. Don't overdo it. Sometimes there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time for love. There's a time to work. And sometimes you have to learn the word no, not right now. I cannot deal with you right now. I can't give to you right now. I have to go work and I have to go take care of what needs to be taken care of. 
Okay, y'all, that's all I got for you on I Am The Light. Thank you for joining me, Aquarius Placements. It has been a pleasure. If you enjoyed the reading and you like what I or Spirit has said for you today, we ask that you would please hit that like, share, and subscribe. The like button is the easiest way to say thank you. Um, I eventually will be opening up personal readings. I got to redo the... Um, the description box and add all that stuff and but but it's coming um i'll be trying to work on that this weekend so anyway thank you aquarius for being here until next time bye baby